the pitch shot. To all intents and purposes, the main fundamentals of the chip shot are also there in the pitch shot. We have a similarity, but there are differences in that we use loft more effectively using the height of the trajectory of the golf shot. We have different length of swing and we tend to vary the speeds of our golf swing dependent on the choice of club and the length of the shot required. Let's deal with this particular shot I just played. I had about 10 or 12 yards to go to the green to where I wanted to land the ball and then probably another 10 or 12 yards uh, of, of green to play with. With this shot I actually landed the ball about 15 yards and it rolled probably four or five yards. Simply let's go through the, the, the setup, backswing, impact and follow through fundamentals. First of all we have to as usual aim the club face either to the flag stick or in the direction we want the ball to start. Everything flows from that point. The width of the stance is about 10 or 12 inches apart. Slimewatt inside the shoulders but balanced and can vary dependent on the length of the pitch you wish to play. The longer the pitch, the slightly wider the stance. The ball position will be either somewhere near the centre of the chest or sternum or a little bit forward of that point. So I tend to feel here that my chest is level with the back half of the ball and that gives me a feeling that I'm going to use the loft of the club correctly and get the correct elevations on my pitch shot. You don't want to have your weight or your body position too far back as that's going to bring you back to the incorrect impact position and again we don't want to be too far forward as we're playing it more like a chip shot and that's going to send us send the ball off with a low running trajectory. Balanced, head, eyes centered to the ball, hands gripping a little down the club, grip pressure comfortable and you can see here that the shaft angle is just slightly forward of the leading edge of the club. It's not too exaggerated forward, it's certainly not back. So I'm in a comfortable position. From a sideways angle, I take up the same position. Now my feet, knees, hips are open and my shoulders are a little less open but are still slightly open to the target. Into this position here. My head feels more over the ball, my chest is looking down at the ball. I'm balanced, weight distributed between my heels and the balls of the feet, feeling comfortable but dynamic. With the backswing, the club comes naturally inside and up. I'm turning my chest, I'm turning that triangle we refer to towards the backswing. I'm turning into the backswing. But on this occasion, with this shot, I begin to allow my hands and wrists to relax and set the club upwards. So I move here and set the club up. The amount of wrist set and the length of the arm swing is dependent on the shot you're playing. With this length of shot, it's relatively limited. I don't need to make a big swing to hit the ball 30, 40 yards. But with longer shots, I'm going to have to turn slightly more and increase the length of my backswing and my wrist set. Turn to here. My shoulders turn up what's called on plane. In other words, here's my position over the ball and I turn here. Everything is natural. The shaft is pointing more down to the line between the ball and the target up to this position. I've made no conscious weight transfer. I started relatively 50-50 with my weight and I've just turned and maintained that position. If you put more weight into your right side in the backswing, unfortunately you're going to probably unload that on the way down and that's going to lose control of the flight of the ball. So here we are in the backswing ready to come down. Really that's just a reversal from this position. We're turning our chest and upper body back towards the ball and through the ball and back towards the target basically. The club follows that. The hands and arms work with the body. The wrist angle that you set that will straighten out naturally. Don't try to influence that. Don't try to straighten it too soon. Don't try to hold that angle too long in the downswing. Allow it just to straighten out as the club gets nearer the ball. The weight is beginning to move a little more towards the left side. You're beginning to get a little bit of weight transfer, but it's not a conscious one. You're not driving your hips or leaning forward. You're just turning your body back towards the target and that naturally moves the weight towards the left side. At impact, the club is going to be slightly more descending because it's 
a longer backswing with a slight wrist set, so it's descending down at a slightly steeper angle. You'll contact the ball and either graze the grass or you'll take a small divot, and that's correct. The club's coming down, hitting the earth, and the ball then is elevated off the loft of the club. Continue the follow through in a nice full way. Allow the triangle you set at address to come through into the follow through position. The weight now is pretty well where you want it to be, favoring the left side, but not a full follow through and not a full weight transfer. Just here and through nicely. Your upper body is looking at the target. Your eyes can follow the last part of the flight of the ball. Keep the rhythm and pace of your swing smooth and the ball will come up off the loft of the club nice and softly giving you control of the ball. That basically is a standard pitch shot. Simple and effective. Remember the pitch shot is influenced more so than any sort of chip shot by the loft you choose elevates the ball higher the length of the swing you use and the speed of the swing. So if you increase length and speed, you're going to get a higher, longer pitch shot.